Well, what is going on, Journey families? My name is Christian Wilson, and I'm the family pastor here at Journey Christian Church. I am so excited to share with you some of the things that we have going on in our kids' ministry in order to prepare and keep everyone safe for September 13th. Now, this is a tutorial of what you will experience as a parent checking in to dropping your kid off. There's so many important details that I wanna be able to give to you and show to you because uh, if you're like me and having uh, my own kid, man, check-in is the most important thing for me, getting him dropped off safely. All of those things matter and I like to know what I'm up against. And so that's what I wanna give you, a sneak peek tutorial of how to walk through Journey Kids. So let's follow along. Well, hey, Journey families, like I said, this is a tutorial. So I'm thinking like you, you just came in from the parking lot and you're trying to come in to find out where do I drop my kids off? How does that work? And I just want to let you know that one of the things that we did was we removed an area at Journey uh, that was previously kind of the uh, hangout room, the uh, living room, if you will. It had some couches, some tabletop. We removed that so that we can help create a queue that you might have been in at Disney or you universal. It's to help space people out so that you can get in our line for check-in. Now, we'll have volunteers to help assist you, temperature check, all of that, but I just wanted to give you that heads up. When you come in, you start your journey here, and hopefully the fun is there to greet you. So that's your first stop. And parents, we have part two right here. So after the queue line where you're hanging out with your family to check in, we will actually have volunteers at every single computer in our parent zone so that we can help you check in. I know that being a, a low touch uh, kind of environment is very important for parents, kids, all that kind of stuff. And we wanna help take a really good step to lead in this time. So we'll have a volunteer that actually is able to check you in. And I know you're probably thinking, dang, I wish we had that uh, before all of this because man, sometimes that check-in could be a little bit of a struggle, but we will have volunteers there or staff members to help check you in. You'll be able to get your ticket just like how we used to. And so I'm excited to see your kids check in and get their name tags. And you know, I, I know some of them collected them, all that kind of stuff. But I do wanna give you an update. Previously, if you had an elementary kid, you would be able to drop them off in the Adventureland after they checked in and got their ticket. Well, we are changing a couple things in, in an effort to make sure that our environments are safe and that our kids can have a great experience. We are trying to make sure that we forward every elementary kiddo into a classroom first. That's our goal. So we actually have to take the elementary wing route. Now preschool, nothing changed. If you had a preschooler that is from birth to uh, five years old. Um, so there is that. So nothing changes for that part. So if you will, let's follow me into the hallway. Now parents, this is stop number three. I know you've been to the queue. I know you've checked your kids in and you might be wondering, okay, well, how does a one way hallway actually work? And so I'm excited to tell you a little bit about it. We want to make sure that your family is able to drop off safe and sound without having to bump into other people. And I know that this hallway used to get really crowded. So we wanna help with some of that traffic flow. So we're gonna go ahead and tell you that if you have a preschooler, what is probably best is that you drop your kids off after check-in first, even if you have an elementary student. So what you would do is you check in, walk down our hall, but go into our preschool environment first. You'll wanna take that first left and it's kind of like a C. So once you enter it, you drop your preschooler off, you'll wanna head to our elementary wing. I'll show you, let's go. All right, follow me this way. Now, parents, we're so excited to be able to have our kids back. But again, if you had a preschooler and an elementary school student, you'd want to be able to come through here and drop off your preschooler first before you drop off your elementary kiddo. But let's keep going. Again, it's a pretty short route through here. So again, it should just take you a couple minutes to get your kids checked in and dropped off. Now that is our preschool area and we'll be heading into our elementary environment. So once you've dropped your preschooler off, if you had one, or if you only have an elementary student, what you could do is just continue through the hallway and then you can proceed to in here. Now, when you come in through here, you'll be greeted by some volunteers that will be glad to help and assist make that check-in process and drop off super easy. Now, parents, I do have to say, once you get in here, 
this area right through here where these doors are will be as far as you go at drop off. Now, obviously at pickup, we want you to pick up your kids. So we'll have some dots on the floor to help kind of show where do families stand. But at drop off, you'll be able to stand here a volunteer will assist to where and what classroom your kid will go into, and then you'll be able to exit through our Adventureland doors. Now, I'll show you how that works. You'll be able to come through our environment right through here and be able to exit right where that parent zone was, exactly where you began this process. But for the heck of it, I'll show you how it's done. And so parents, this would conclude kind of your walkthrough in our Journey Kids new environment. I know there's one ways, I know there's a queue line. If you have any questions, I would be glad to assist you in any of that. Feel free to email me at cwilson at journeychristian.com. But if you have any other questions or concerns, feel free to let me know. And I would love to help minister to your family because I am super excited to have Kids Ministry back up and running. Thank you so much. And until next time, I'll see you in person.